Right, morning all. Will you join me on uh, Saturday the 19th of December on a cold, wet, rainy morning? Uh, still pitch black. I got down here way too early again. So I'm going to walk up that way. Um, and you can't see much. It's just pitch black at the moment. Um, and then I'll have to hope it gets a bit lighter because I can't see a damn thing. Right, I'll get moving. Well, it's brightened up now. I can see what's going on. Weirdly, I'm the only person around. Funny that. Anyway, just had a target ear at the hole. I flung it out. And we have what looks to be... I think that's a modern 20 pence piece by the shape of it. So anyway, that's good. But... Uh, it is due to rain today, so to be honest with you, it stopped. It was spitting a bit when I got here, um, but it has stopped. But looking over there, it's as black as anything. So we'll have to see how long we can go. But I've got a poly bag, so I'll try and keep dry and uh, give it a go. But we'll spiral out from here, see if we can get another target. Well, I'm just running along the sand here. I've got a target, which I thought was a piece of iron. It's booted out another coin. Uh, oh, I think that's a coin. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's an old penny or not, but we'll definitely take that. Just had one person walk past me with their hood up, really striding away. So, two coins so far. We haven't been here that long. So, anyway, right, we'll carry on and uh, we'll spiral out from here, see if there's any more. But, uh, yeah, it's not that, that bad a morning. It's just nice to be out. So, let's get cracking. Well, there's where I had the penny. I literally got to there. And we've got a very green old coin come up. I don't know what that is. So anyway, we'll have a look at that. Right, let's get that in your pocket and we'll carry on. Okay, so coin, coin, dug a hole here. And you can see my shovel, how deep down that's gone. And we have flung out over here another coin. I think that's just another modern penny. But yeah, that's good. So they all seem to be in this little area here. So we need to slow right down. So we've got four coins in the pot now. So we'll slow right down. And uh, spiralled out for me, but it's coming over very dark. Um, yeah, you can't really see it, so... Oh well, get ready for the rain. The rain up there is definitely on its way. The clouds are coming this way, so... I haven't got much longer, so I'll stop for a quick uh, brew while it's not raining. That's not bad for this morning so far, we've got four coins. The last few weeks when we've been out, we seem to have been really racking up on coins. So this weather we're having is definitely shifting some of the stuff about. Um, which is good. Obviously uh, with the Christmas break as well, we can get out quite a bit more. So I'm off from the 24th of December, right round to the 4th of January. So obviously Christmas Day, Boxing Day, I'm doing stuff but apart from that I'm going to be out most mornings hunting and I'm looking forward to it actually it's going to be nice um, Christmas Eve I'm, when I'm off I'm going to do a full day's hunt so that'll be good so anyway let me uh, get this tea down me and get uh, all my gear stowed and uh, We'll head back up on that sand there because all of them coins seem to be in the same area so whether that's a wash up or a drop I don't know. But the, um, the fine spot so far is not looking too bad. That light is so bad today. That looks like it's definitely an old penny. That I would say is an old penny. That's 20 pence. another penny but we'll have to clean it in the acid to have a look 
Oh, I've got the old police going on over there. I don't know if you can see the flashing lights down there. I'm not sure where they're going. Oh no, it's an ambulance and a meat wagon. What? Unusual. That's the only downside with GoPros, they don't have a zoom on them, otherwise you could uh, zoom right in. But anyway, right, let's, let's get on. Well, I had a target there I couldn't find, so I scooped and scooped and scooped until I got it. And then I threw the sand over here to spread it out. It looks like we've got a two pence piece. That's all right, but it is coming over really dark. But uh, I'm glad I come down here today. Nice little pot of coins. All right, let's get on to the next target. If we get one, I'll try a live dig. Right, well. A dog walker went past so I spiralled out, I've marked a couple of targets, I've got one here, one the other side. So let's go in and see if what these are on a live dig. You know what they're gonna be, don't you? They're not gonna be a coin. Because they never are. Right that one's out. Right, so it's here. It's in here somewhere. Let's go in and have a look. Oh, I can see it from here straight away. Uh, typical live dig. Ring pull. Oh, what is it? You can never get these things on film. Right, then we've got another target here. Which again, you know, is going to be a ring pull or something, don't you? Right, it's out, it's in there. Okay, we're going in. And there it is, tiny bit of aluminium. Oh, struth. Right, on we go. Right, just add another coin. Another 2p piece, but I couldn't film it because of... Um, dog walkers down there so anyway we'll still run along here and see what we find but the coins all seem to be just the other side of this shingle here so um, that's the line I'm taking right well, that's it from me only a short hunt today but we did all right with the coins so I'll clean them up get them posted up and uh, hopefully weather permitting I'll be back out again tomorrow so yeah that's not too bad Right, I shall try and head off home now, get some scrambled egg on toast down me, which is becoming, fast becoming my traditional metal detecting breakfast, and uh, I'll catch you for the roundup. Right, I've just come back to a flat tyre. Alright, we have to change it out. Oh, the joys of detecting. Alright, give me five, I'll see if I'll get my spare on. Right, I've only got one of them space saver things, so anyway, let's get this jacked up. I've got a trolley jack, let's get this on. Done. Oh, I need a cup of tea more than ever. Right, let's get back home and then I've got to go into the uh, town now. Firstly, see if I can get it repaired. If not, I'll have to get another tyre. Right, it's all done. I managed to get it done for £10. It was just a nail through the middle of the tyre. 